Hi everyone! This is going to be a first impressions review of the Journals of Captain James Cook, published by Folio Society. Um, Captain James Cook was an explorer, navigator, and cartographer in the Royal Navy, and this was in the mid to late 1700s, and he explored great parts of the Pacific Ocean, including Australia, Hawaii, and New Zealand. Um, living on the Pacific coast, he's kind of a local historical figure as well. I don't know a lot about him, so I've been trying to learn more about him. In high school, I did a project where I read his journal entries and did essays on them. And when I saw this come up on the folio uh, collection, I thought it would be really cool to have like all of his journals. This is not the complete collection, but it has um, all three of his voyages in abridged format. And I believe this is also edited, but many of the original spellings are maintained. So um, I'll just open it up and show you what the books look like. This is the first book, The First Voyage, 1768 to 1771. Love the cover. Love this teal color. It's like my favorite color ever. <laughs> um, yeah, selected and edited by Philip Edwards. And uh, one thing to know about Cook is he, he really wrote two versions of his story. One was the official uh, ship's log. And the other one was his personal account. Still very formal in nature, though, as, as you'll find when you're reading this. Um, so, yeah, this book is based on that more personal account. And he also edited it later. So, in the beginning, it goes over all of that and uh, the revisions and so forth. Um, you do get these overview maps, and there's also a larger map that I'll be showing later. And it's really a beautifully laid out book. I thought the introduction was helpful for getting some context. And then the journals are pretty straightforward, pretty much the way I remember them from the other edition I read. And for the parts that they abridged or summarized, there are sections in italics that kind of go over that. I am currently reading this first volume with my brother, and this is how far we've made it. It's not the most, you know, fast-paced, riveting book. It's certainly something he wrote knowing other people are going to read it, so it's very measured, very much like Shackleton's books. Uh, more measured, professional, and, you know, there's not a lot of action scenes, so to speak, at least not not in a dramatized sense. He does talk about conflicts with natives and um, the interactions with the natives. So there, there is some action. It's just not, it's not like a novel by any means. Um, so yeah, one thing I loved about this book and about Captain Cook in general is you get to get a, a better look at the dynamics between him and his crew and the people of these islands that he visited. There's definitely nuance to their interactions to how the natives treated them and vice versa. So you really have to read this if you want to gain a better understanding of what was going on instead of, you know, more of these cardboard cut out Hollywood portrayals. And I think that obviously this is a biased account, but you can see his flaws, you can see his failings, and yeah, I'm still reading this, so my opinions may change there, but I really liked that aspect of of this book. Um, so yeah, that's the first voyage. I will show the other books here, which I have not started reading. So part two. The second voyage took place from 1772 to 1775. This volume has a different cover in the same style. Still very nice. And also the maps, quite a few maps in this one. Uh, 
Um, one thing that I would have liked perhaps, and I don't, I didn't see it in any of these volumes, but maybe a glossary of some of the abbreviations. For example, in some of these, uh, you'll see abbreviations in their uh, coordinates and in other uh, parts of his journal. It would be helpful, I think, if there was some kind of lookup for that. But um, you can, most of the time, you can figure out what it means. And I appreciate that they didn't over edit. Um, I think it's better to under edit than over edit. Uh, third voyage was 1776 to 1779. And this one was the voyage he was killed on. So I, I haven't, of course, read this yet, but I would assume the journals end pretty abruptly. And it looks like the editor added a postscript about his death, so some context there. Um, yeah, again, a very nice cover in the same design, but a different picture. And then this box set also comes with a map, so I'm going to show that. Uh, the map is a little book in the box and it just says chart of the voyages of Captain James Cook and uh, I'll switch to my tripod and show you what this looks like. Those were my first impressions of the Journals of Captain Cook published by Folio. Folio is not a sponsor or affiliate, but I really like their books and wanted to show this one that people had asked me questions about. I do think it's worth buying if you're interested in exploration, Captain Cook himself, um, or map making, any of the above. I just, I'm really happy with it, honestly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.